Hello friends, welcome to Java Swing tutorial. In this uh, video and in next two videos, we are going to look at J tabbed pan. So in the picture, we were seeing J tabbed pan and the example shows four tabs in the tabbed pan. So this entire control is the J tabbed pan. So before we go into the example, let us uh, look at J tabbed pan. So in this example, we are going to see how to use a J tabbed pan. Then how do we add tabs? If you see in our J tabbed pan, we have three tabs. So one is person name tab, person age and education. So we will see how to add this tab. Then we will see what is the use of uh, 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 tab layout policy like scroll and wrap next we will talk about the tab location top left bottom and right so here you are seeing tab location is in the top so you can add tab at the bottom or left or even in the right side Alright, now let's uh, talk about the J tab pen. You can construct a J tab pen using uh, uh, empty constructor. There are other versions of the constructor also. Uh, once you use the empty constructor, then you can make a, a set version of the functions on J tab pen to perform settings to the pan i mean to the tab to pan so once the j tab to pan is constructed you can make a call to add tab method so for the add tab method you can actually pass a string then pass the required component say for example so you can pass a, a tab name as a memo so that's the string here it actually represents the tab name here if you see i am uh, passing a text area as a component so multi-line text area or a drawing canvas whatever you want you can pass it as a component or if you want to show multiple controls in a single tab then you can pass a j panel or a awt panel with a lot of controls in it this is how we can add a tab to the JTAB pen. So you can call this add tab method multiple times. Say if you call this method three times by passing different component, then your JTAB pen will show three tabs. So the next function is a set tab layout policy. Using this uh, method, you can set uh, scroll or wrap layout for the tab. So let's say that we have tab with, uh, I mean, J tab depend with uh, six tab. So if you see here, uh, only three tabs are shown for uh, seeing a remaining four uh, remaining three tabs four five and six you have to skip these uh, scroll buttons so using these arrow keys you can scroll through the tab and if you see here there is uh, one row only in this uh, case so this style is called scroll policy so if there are more number of tab and uh, that uh, tab names are uh, uh, not visible here or uh, no space to show those uh, tab names then the remaining tabs will go beyond the uh, parent container say frame window so the time the j tabbed pan will present us with the uh, arrow keys using these arrow keys you can scroll between these uh, tabs so 
This happens when you set the table layout policy as a scroll. For the same case, if you set it as wrap, so if you see here, there are two rows. So if you see here, the controls are stacked in two rows. And you can see all six tabs here. So this is called wrap style. So whether you want a scroll style or a wrap style that you can set using the set tab layout policy by passing the required constant. You can either present your tabs in a single scroll or in multiple lines using the wrap style. So using a set tab placement function call you can pass any of these constant top bottom left or right so that will decide where we want to show our tab so if we say top so the tab will be added in the top portion bottom tabs are added towards the bottom left it will be shown in the left side or right so this one is actually our tab pane. So you can see based on this constant, the tab location will be decided and that this one will be our J tab pane. So to summarize, first we can construct our J tab pane. After constructing it, you can add the tab pages using the add tab method. After this, you can use set tab layout policy to decide your tab appearance so whether you want to show the tabs in a scroll format or in wrap format scroll means only one row will be presented and in wrap style we will get two rows or three rows it depends on how many tabs you add next we make use of uh, set tab placement that will tell where we want to show the tabs so the default and the most used location is the top location uh, but you can still show your tabs in the left or right or even in the bottom portion of the uh, tab pen after doing all this your j tab pen is ready you can add it to the control host so you can get a content pan from your container and then you can add this J tab pen to it so that the content pan will show the J tab pen. So we usually make a call from J frames content pan. So to that content pan, we can add this J tab pen so that the J tab pen will be shown to shown in the J frame. So J frame is the parent for this J tab pen. So whatever tab we will add um, for all those tab, the parent is the J tab pen. Thank you for watching. Bye.